All right. No. Okay. Um, There's going to be some things that you're going to need to know how to do when this is all over. Oh, God. I gained 20 pounds. I've prepared this presentation to inform you how to live your lives better um, so that you're not having a materially negative impact on the people around you. I don't recommend you follow the rules of this uh, presentation until coronavirus is solved, um, until we're, we have a vaccine. So think of this as what I'd like to call the arcane etiquette of exiting an elevator pre-COVID edition. This was written before the coronavirus hit. I don't Be right back. I've got to get fancy. Do I even remember how to tie this? I haven't even used this tie. I haven't dressed up in a goddamn year. This cost me $52? What the fuck? What were we spending money on back then? There we go. This fucking sucks, man. I can't. So this button is not happening. All right, let's get on with the lesson, I guess. <clears throat> uh, let me paint you a picture. All right, that's you. Obviously. That's an elevator. Obviously. That's right, I spent all this time on this animation. What do you think you're doing? You're, you're getting in the elevator. Oh, whoop, he's going to the corner. Whoop, doors are closing. I made this in Google slide, Slides. All right, let's just say for a matter of uh, posterity, that happened again. Okay, I didn't want to animate it. I didn't want to have to do the work. So what if I'm lazy? I don't care. You can't, you can't fucking make me do it. This has been so hard. All right, I digress. Fucking Jeremy. We all know one. We've all heard of one. We all have a fucking Jeremy in our lives. They're always out there. And a lot of the time, they look like this. Obviously. Oop. There it goes again. Door's opening. Uh-oh. Jeremy's coming in. Look how wide he is. Look how wide he is. Sup, says Jeremy. Your friend waves. Eh, you decide to wave, I guess, because it would just be impolite at this point to pretend like you didn't hear him like every other morning at this godforsaken job. Fuck you, Jeremy. Because that's what we're really thinking. But little do we know. Seriously, fuck this guy. You're both thinking it. No one's saying it. All right, so this is representing that we're on the eighth floor currently. So this would mean that we're moving down. Whoa, one more floor. Where is this going? It's getting predictable. I wonder what's going to happen. You guessed it. We're in the lobby. How exciting. Sometimes when I'm in the lobby, I just think about all the mistakes that I ever made in my life. And would you look at that? What happens? The doors begin to open. And Jeremy then steps up and says, After you... Excuse me, what the fuck are you talking about, Jeremy? Where the fuck are you standing? What the fuck are you talking about? Are you fucking kidding me, Jeremy? Don't do this! And this is what the thesis of my presentation is all about. If you're in the front of an elevator, get off the god darn elevator. It doesn't make any sense not to. And now I will explain why. Now we're gonna move into an intro to physics. Just pay attention to this part. 
There's some important stuff in here. I don't think we have time. We're running a little long. We're just gonna try to get through it really quick, okay? So we got that, a little bit of this. I think that's important. I heard something about this, so like consider it. Just like screenshot some of these things. I think they'll probably will come up on the test at the end. That's probably important. I mean, this one definitely is important. Oh, uh, I don't know, that's really blurry. Oh shit, what the fuck is that? A boat? Oh God. What the fuck? White dudes? What the fuck is this? Where's the fucking diverse? This is bullshit. Um, anyway, this is a fucking octagon or something. I don't know what that is. Moving on to the next section. Let's talk about the physics of elevator exfiltration. All right, the stand, whoa, that was fucking cool. I forgot I made that. Standard width of an elevator doors in the United States of America. It's 36 inches wide. I'll let you read the rest of that. I got that from a, for a very good source, dreamstime.com. Standard width of a human male is 16.1 inches. Set 41.1 centimeters for all of you non-Americans. You are so fucking lucky to not live in this godforsaken country. Fuck. I brought scientific equipment to test this theory. Let's check what my width is. Twenty-two. No. So as you can see, apparently America's filled with a bunch of beta cuck men who are only sixteen inches wide, and I've got six inches on them. <sighs> We're talking to forty-four point seven percent elevator door occlusion, even with the standard size of an American man. I'm talking that 16 inch beta cuck bullshit, bro. He's the one is taking up 44.7% of elevators. And we're gonna just sit here and let them do it? This is an intro to fluid dynamics. We're talking bottlenecks in fluids. And in this category, what I mean by fluids, I mean humans, okay? I mean human beings moving through space. All right, there's some people. As we've previously determined, the red is people. Um, that's fucking uh, Jeremy from accounting's big fat ass, obviously. And uh, as you can see, one fucking person made it through. Not me. Acceleration due to gravity in the space-time continuum. This has nothing to do with getting out of an elevator. Moving on. The intrinsic goodness. <laughs> the intrinsic goodness of man. Part of my theorem is that man is intrinsically good. Man wishes the best upon his fellow citizen. Man wants to be compassionate towards his fellow compatriot, even so much so to let them off the fucking elevator first, even though it makes no goddamn sense. Let me quote the philosopher Wangari Matai. We can work together for a better world with men and women of goodwill. Those who radiate the intrinsic goodness of humankind. I always like to cite my sources. So this was pulled from the critically acclaimed um, and well-renowned journal of uh, juicyquotes.com. They got the best quotes to share. So if you need a quote to share, I highly recommend it. Moving on. The prison of social conditioning. Whoa, that sounds deep. The intrinsic goodness of man has caused some to even put their hand out to hold the elevator door open to let you out first from behind them. This is unacceptable. While at surface level, this seems like a kind gesture. It in fact represents a prison of social conditioning, which results in a measurable reduction to our mutual quality of life. We're wasting time, people. Which leads me to my next point. Ayn Rand, bad philosophy to live by, Great philosophy for elevators. Quiz time. 
Atlas Shrugged. Inside an elevator. All right, if you answered good, you're correct. One point. The Fountainhead. Outside of an elevator. Very bad vibes. Incorrect if you said it was good. Negative one point. So, in conclusion, I feel like I've made my point abundantly clear once we get out of this bullshit coronavirus pandemic. Just get the fuck off the elevator and move on with your disgusting, pathetic, loveless life, Jeremy. I know you have no one to go home to. I know you're all alone eating a week old expired sashimi because you can't goddamn get yourself up to make a stupid fucking sandwich because you're so pathetic that you have to hold a goddamn elevator open for me. You think that's what we want, Jeremy? We don't have time for that. Coronavirus adds a whole other element to this and I bet Jeremy's got it. <sighs> All right, see you later.